looking good so far. And what I've done is I have taken the fuel tank off and changed the filter because it was time. So everything is happy under the uh, under the tank. All the connections to the spark plugs are all fine. All the connections to the sensors are fine. <laughs> Everything is hunky fucking dory. So as I said, all the connections are fine. I've unplugged them, replugged them, oiled them, inspected them, cleaned them if they needed cleaning. Everything I could get to is absolutely 100% okay. And like I said, I have had the tank off, had the uh, fuel pump assembly off, and have uh, replaced the filter as it was due to be replaced. I don't think the filter would cause this, because the filter, if that were blocked up, I would have expected the filter uh, blocking scenario to show itself by having um, no power when you have opened the, open the throttle. You'd think it would go up to so many revs and then start to die. Whereas that is not the situation at hand. So far so good. Well, it generally takes a while. It has to warm up properly first before it it's stupidity so give it a chance <laughs> see that's a bit more serious if it does it like that you're trying to get a lift off from the lights, that's bloody annoying. Oh, right, you're doing a UE, right? Shit. See, that's annoying as fuck. Yeah, you do not want that to happen. It's fucked. <laughs> what is going on there? Okay, that's um Eco mode. <laughs> it's definitely when it's warmed up, because now that engine's hot, it's not happy at all. I got like a sensor on the blink or something. Definitely, definitely caused by bumpiness. I have a loose connection somewhere. And you'd think a loose connection. I'd be able to find that. <laughs>
Let's see if I can find anything under the seat. Oh, that looks absolutely fine. That looks absolutely fine. So that's those connections. Fuse box. That one's fine. That's fine. That's not great, is it? That battery connection. Which is positive. That is not a marvellous... Um, That's not a marvellous connection. Which one is it? It's not. It's one down from here. Do 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 do. Right. Do 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 do. Have I discovered the fucking problem? Because that would be embarrassing. Oh my! You really are not on properly. No, this is positive, so don't connect to anything else. Especially not the fuel tank, that would be very, very unfortunate. Okay. Oh, come on. Scoot over that thing. There you go. Right. That might be it. <laughs> this fixes it. Oh, really? Well, I'll be happy and annoyed at the same time. I'll be happy because I fixed it, and I'll be annoyed because it's been been causing me a lot of annoyance. I like my toolkit. It's great comes from my uh, Suzuki ownership. <laughs> Always have a complete toolkit with you. At all times, when you own a Suzuki. Right. Okay, I think then safely say the bike is fixed. It feels great. There's no stutters or coughs or choking or stalls or anything. It was all done with the positive terminal not being screwed in properly. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs>